joining us tonight. We're back and we're live and awake. Kind of. of. <laughs> yeah. We might have David pass out by the end of this tonight. Yeah, he's still on jet lag. Yeah, he's time. not completely recovered from the jet lag. But he's here helping us produce. He's Our lovely track. husbands are here. Yes. Thank you, Burke. You guys rock. Yep. They are amazing. Y'all make sure to share the broadcast. We didn't set up an event this week, so we want to make sure everybody knows that we are live. We are actually live. We it's are actually here. happening today. Every time I hear that this week, what? we are here. I wanted to like, but we no are, one would follow. Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we are here. We are here. We, we are, are here. here. We are here. What's that from? Don't tell them. Oh, okay. Do Post know in that's the comments from? if you know what that's from. Every parent should know where yes. that's from. We are here. We David are here. David asked this earlier here. when he was live this morning. He was like. If you're here, let me know because, and yes. then everybody started commenting like, we, we are, are here, here, we are here. And I was like, <laughs> yes, we are here. I'm just waiting for somebody funny. to comment. Come on, you guys. Yes. It, I didn't, I was like a little uh, about that movie, but then I really yeah. liked it when they ended it with the awesome song. Yeah. So. It was cute. It was good. I love the colors. Yeah. It was really pretty colors. And it's a, it's a really good story. Yeah. Anybody? 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 Seriously? David doesn't have a clue. Oh, my God. God. Greg's just him? laughing at us. Not trolls. I feel like my hair doesn't want to do what it wants to do. Yes, hey. Casey, oh. she wins. Yes. Horton hears a who. It's a person's cute. a person, no matter how small. Yes. Isn't there like a second part to that? I love that movie. <laughs> it's a really cute movie. I wonder why. Just a short Sarah people joke. My yes, hair is being the stupid. Horton Hears a Who, Sarah. It's so cute. It's one of the Dr. Seuss movies. Yeah. If y'all haven't seen it, y'all should watch it. It's that. a really good movie. Yeah. It's better than The Lorax for sure. I didn't that like that one. It was kind of darker. It was ish, like. Or uh, depressing. I don't know. It was I don't okay. I remember all of it, to be honest. I remember I didn't care for it as much. I didn't either. But. I'm waiting for them to make the Sneetches on the Beaches movie. Are they? I don't know. I'm just, oh. I'm throwing that out there. Somebody make it. When we went on our cruise, it was a cat in a hat theme for the kids. Fun. And they had a breakfast and they did like, if you ordered, like it was really cute. Like the menu was all rhymes. How like fun. each thing was like a Dr. Seuss, like awesome. goofy name. <clears throat> and then the description was like all a rhyme. Yes. And then if, when you got your food, like say you ordered pancakes, I think Aubrey ordered pancakes and it was a cat in a hat stack. Yeah. Like, so oh, there was, cute. like, a wide one, and then, like, these red and white, like, alternating, <gasps> That's trying fine. to make it, like, the cat in the hat. Yeah. It was really cute. And then David got something, waffle, I forget what they called it, and it looked like bright-colored butter or something. Was it butter? He's not listening. He's not listening. He's it was, like, sleeping. blue and orange in the waffle, and then there was supposed to be something else, but he didn't want it. I don't remember what he didn't get on. Anyway, it was really cute. I used to read Cat in the Hat. Cat um, all those Dr. Seuss books to yeah. the boys. And to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street was a favorite. And then um, Green Eggs and Ham. Oh, yeah. And I would read it in these hilarious voices, and they loved it. And they would make me read it again and again. Remember so um, I love One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue yes. Fish? Well, ever since Aubrey has been, like, tiny, 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 what have I told you? Come here, you can tell them. Come over here where they can hear you. <laughs> Yay! If y'all don't know my little one, this is our little one. Little Aubrey, what did I? What have I told you since you were a tiny baby? One foot, two foot, red foot, blue foot. <laughs> when we're putting on her shoes, like I've done the Dr. Seuss yes. thing, and said one one foot, two Which foot. Which one's red, red foot? foot? Blue foot. Which one's the red foot? I don't know that we ever picked one. I would just say that every single time we put on her yeah. shoes, and it's like stuck. So she's like, "Mom, what is that? You always say that." And so now that she can read, yeah. Now we she have gets the it, book, right? and she's like, "That's where you got that." And I'm like, "Yeah, but it was one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish." Yeah. Anyway, okay, you can go back on your nap mat and take your take a nap. Go <laughs> night night. Just go to sleep. <laughs> hey, so Autumn, anyways, Sarah, Peggy. I saw Jonathan. Hey, I saw you on there. Yeah, Jonathan. I saw him waving a while ago. Thanks for joining us tonight. Greg. Share the post. Help yeah. us get the word out, people. Um, you know, let them know that they can join us. <laughs> you know, I do oh, we have a heckler sure. on here. Yes, always. He's always. back. 
full He's force. He's back, y'all. Full force. It's been torture. It's gonna be great all night long. I'm trying to do I'm my like makeup in the car something. this afternoon, or like before dinner. I'm like touching everything up. He's literally yanking the car from one side of the road to the other because there's like no cars he around. He just us. missed you. I'm like, I'm telling you, David, stop it! You're gonna make me poke my eye out because it's like eyeliner or you know whatever I'm doing, and I'm like, stop it! And I mean, he's he's hitting the brakes like he's just thinking it's hilarious, cracking yeah. up, sitting over there in the driver's seat, like torturing me the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. So. Shade throw down? What does that mean? Shade thrown, David. I don't know what that means. Oh, David. He's throwing shade. That's what that means. There was a squirrel. Sure. No, there is no sure, squirrel. Sure, there was a there squirrel. There was no squirrel. Hey, That's thanks for true. joining us. Um, we have a good word for you today. I'm going to try and get through this without um, anything going off or breaking <laughs> or dying or being shut down or... Um, you know. Yeah. Because. He's done I that. <laughs> like, yeah. I went live twice on Tuesday. I know. And, I was uh, I was... yeah. But the word of the Lord stands forever. And you yeah. can't stop it. And so Who's that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. Hey, Brittany. Haven't talked to her in forever. She grew up in my, going to my dad's church. Awesome. So, yeah. But it's going to be great. The devil is always trying to shut you up. So I'm yeah, really anxious to hear really what you have scared. to speak on because I know this it's has either been like the devil or just plain crazy. You know, just. Yeah. But it's really fun to blame him. Yeah. I'll, let's blame him. But yeah, I know this has been like burning in your heart. Oh, like he's totally wrecked week, me. And yeah, he's totally wrecked this. me this whole weekend and all last week. And. Um, it's been really awesome. So before we get into it, I'm going to ask Amy to pray. And uh, y'all keep sharing the post. Yes, y'all. Help us build our audience here tonight. People need to hear this word. I'm telling you, it's going to change you New forever. Revelation. But yeah, y'all please share. And if you, by the way, if you're on Spring First website, watch it, or not website, um, page. Facebook page yeah. watching, we can't see your comments. We can only see you on Worldwide Impact. So if you're over there, and you want to talk to us or join in on the conversation, just move on over, Butter, to where that impact. <laughs> yes, I did that. Again. We need to find that commercial. We did, and, and the didn't sound play, didn't work. It's, but the video, it wasn't meant to be. I know. It's so good. Y'all should watch that commercial. Go look it up on YouTube when we're done tonight. Move over, Butter, commercial. It's good. All right. Yes. All right, let's pray. Lord, we just love you, and we thank you for all of the revelation that you're going to give us tonight. And God, that we just ask that you give us a completely new desire to get dig into your word and a new burning passion for what and for everything that you have for us, Lord, and that we can just dive deeper to a whole nother level of understanding you and your word and what it means to us and how it's living and breathing every day as we read it and it's ever changing, Lord, as we go through life with new revelations constantly. So we just ask that you open our hearts and let us receive tonight. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, I'm just like going to just, yeah. we're just going to chat. And you're just going to kind of listen in on our conversation. <laughs> That's how I feel like, know. you know, we're just going to. But you're going to like talk to us too. But like, talk to us because thoughts. like, Cause I if you see. have any points or questions or. Yeah. We want to you know. know. We want to hear. Let us, let us hear. Don't ask us questions. I heard over here that they're going to start asking us ridiculous questions. If David if I know asks you. questions, we're not answering We're just going to ignore those. We're going to block we'll him. To Can we just else? block him on... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do like a goal. Can you block the David Can we Hogan just guy? block him? Can you see that guy? Can we block him, please? <laughs> That's what I'm going to start saying when every time he's crazy yes. in here. Is it possible that I can get some water? <laughs> no! <laughs> He's threatening it's, to kill the broadcast. Yeah, he goes, I'm ending it right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. He does have control of, like, the kill button back there, but anyway. Be nice. All right. Um, um, she would like a bottle of water, she said. Is that said. possible? Did somebody Can I get that? one of that? I meant please, to grab one on my way please. in, but. <clears throat> Aubrey said she'll go. Oh, she's the best. Oh, I don't think she has a key to the thing. I don't know if it's He's, unlocked. He doesn't have a key to the We're thing. all live Would you here like tonight? a key? It's behind so my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hilda. No, hey, Larry. Thanks for joining us. Ben and Ashley Rush. 
I know. Jaina, Larry. Oh, Jaina. Uh, David yeah. said to tell Ben Rush or call you spills it. Is that what you said? Spills it? Inside joke. Uh, yeah, Just I don't for know you, what man. that means. Just ben, for you. But hey, spills it. Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> totally owns it, man. I have no Just idea like, what that means. <laughs> we have no idea. We're going to go with it. So. So. This weekend, are we still reading? How here? many spokes? Oh my on gosh! A bicycle Seriously, wheel? come on! What does that mean? I, he's just asking questions. Oh, yeah, yeah, the random questions. Yeah, I don't know that. Larry, answer, Larry. <laughs> Larry. Twenty-four. He says, he "Okay, says, Lemmy." Okay, Lemmy. Good yeah. times. I'm gonna start good times. I'm sure Len. there were good times. Um, so we went to a Bible quiz competition. This. Yay! I'm 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 okay. eventually gonna get to the story. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I need water. Give me give her the water. Thank you. You're, You're the welcome. bestest. Okay. Excuse me, please. Give it to Dad. That's his. So refreshing. Hey Kat, thanks for joining. I'm just starting to get into yeah. my story. You didn't miss too much. <laughs> um, okay, so we went to <laughs> yeah. um <laughs> <laughs> we went to Bible quiz competition yes. this weekend, and uh, we took a bunch of amazing students with us um, to go compete. And this was regionals, though it wasn't just like it was any regionals. It wasn't. It was uh, regionals. Yes. Yeah. Um, and so we're driving up there. I say we. My husband <laughs> drove us up there, and I got to just relax and read in the passenger seat. It was lovely. Um, and I'm reading a book and actually it's Jonathan Shuttlesworth's book. Um, and it's just, you know, just going, oh, the financial good freedom. Stuff. One, yeah. Right? It's yeah. Financial overflow. Yeah. Or yeah, not freedom. I think that's. <clears throat> and there's the a part guy. in there where he talks about how he's, <laughs> he's wanting to build his, he struggling, not struggling, but he's like trying to figure out like financial, mm -hmm. he wants to grow that in his in his spirit. And he says, um, he decided to build God's word into my spirit about that particular subject. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why, but it was just like, wow. Like, just like, it just, ah, you know, like, That you can whoa. build the word in your spirit. Hold up a sec. Like, yeah. Hold, and I don't know why, it, it, it seems like a, like a ridiculous thing. Yeah, you should have been doing this this whole time. Uh, but, you know, David's been talking about, even this morning, you know, getting into the word and we have to build up our faith. And, and you know, if you're, you're needing a particular, if you want to know about healing, then you're going to get into the word and start reading scriptures yeah. on healing and build that into you. And he was, look, he was talking about financially uh, building the word in us, in you, um, based on finances and all that does. Yeah. So he, uh, I'm going to look at Joshua chapter one. We miss you, Roxanne. Hey, girl. Hilda, no, the penguin no longer has, the penguin, the zoo no longer <laughs> has penguins. No. We found that out last and week. And hey, Jeremy, Mr. Helms. Yo, yo, happy birthday. And Esther, she's with us. She's watching your sister. We're going to be looking at Joshua chapter one. Yeah. Um, and I've post read those, this. Go ahead. If y'all want to post like those in the comments, that way if anyone's watching it back on replay or wants to reference back without having to watch the whole video to find it, it's really nice to have those in the comments if anybody wants make to Make them watch the whole them. video. Or yeah, just make them watch the video. Don't post the comments. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I was going to post it in the comments. It's okay. Joshua what? Joshua 1, verse 8. Verse 8. All right. Uh, in New King James. It. Oh, you're in New King James. I have ESV. I can get off here and do it. Y'all ready? I have it right here if you want to read it. Okay. Over there. It's we'll do that. the bottom, middle. 1, 8. Yeah. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it, for you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Yes. <laughs> um, another version, I don't remember which one. 
Uh, it said the key to prospering or being successful in everything is to keep the word of God ever before you, meditating on it every day and night. Yeah. And, you know, it's just kind of like one of those, yeah, I know, I know that. But all of a sudden it was like, whoa, that's new. Why is this so new? Why is this like blowing my mind right now? <laughs> it yeah. was just kind of one of those uh, moments where... Um, You've read the scripture, but all of a sudden you read it this one time and it just kind of comes to life and it jumps at you. And that's what happened on the way to Bible quiz, which I love. I think that's so fun yeah. because our, we train our kids to memorize scripture. And that's basically what Joshua 180 is telling us to meditate, get it in you, you know, write it, write it down, t teach your kids and, and do every day, every night that this is what you're doing meditating and, and, and getting it in you so that way when you need it, it will be there for yeah. you. And I don't know why that was just kind of a shocking. And this may be like so, it feels so elementary, which is why it just kind of, it's so simple yet yeah. just so phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. Uh, phenomenal. <laughs> Recyclable. Yeah. And so, yes. <laughs> How do you say recyclable? Yeah, how would y'all phonetically say recyclable? I don't even know that I'm saying it right, to be honest. We've looked this up before. Okay, say it, say it. Say it. Say it. Recyclable. 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 Yeah, you're not saying it right. I'm not saying it right. It's recyclable, but she's saying it recyclable. Recyclable. That's what I said. Recyclable. See, she's saying a recyclable. That's Recycle not how you say it. Recyclable. <laughs> it's anyway. not recycle and able, it's recyclable. It's like all smushed together and you lose a syllable. Okay. I just, we had a whole dinner conversation we on did. this the other day. We did. It was great. Anyways. Anyway. Okay. So, squirrel. I know. One, okay, so, but one thing I really want to like love about, <sighs> not that I want to love, one thing that I do love about this particular scripture is like the very first part of the first sentence. It says, this book, the, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. Shall not. Like, yeah. It won't. It will not. It like, won't. it will not fail you. Yeah. If you can like bury it deep, it will come back to yeah. you when you need it. Like you were saying. I mean, it shall not. I, and the word shall, like... And like it's kind of strong, like it is. I mean, the, it's because in, in the King James version, it's at my last not. job, actually, part of what um, I was required to do was like no codes for pressure equipment. And I don't know what that means. And, I know and plant stuff, right? <laughs> like chemical plant stuff. I don't know what that. Means. And so <laughs> I had to know like what the code said, like you shall inspect or you oh, can yeah. inspect these items this often or whatever. This is yeah. the recommendations for the process right. that we were supposed to follow. And um, when I was earning one of my certifications for that position, um, I remember they were telling us like, this is really like critical because when right now the code says this, it says like you can or you should, I think is what it was. You should, you know, look at this every so often. But the new code that was coming out by the time I took the test, right. they said they're changing it in September. And I was like, I think taking the test, or they were changing it in July, whatever. And I was taking the <laughs> test after they changed it is the, is the point. And they said the code was then going to say, with, once they revised it, was you shall. Yeah. Which meant you have to. Yeah, you have there to. There was no like yeah, you should it's... or maybe consider this. Yeah. It was like, it wasn't a recommendation anymore. It was telling us, no, you have yeah. to do this now. And so that... Every time I read the word shall, yeah. even in like scripture now, I'm like, that means I must. Yeah. I must. You have to. This has to do this if it yeah. says shall. And so I love, it's I don't know. It's a strong word. Yeah. It is. It means you have to. Yeah. It doesn't mean you can or might. Right. Or that it might or that it can. Yeah. It shall. It, it has shall. To. It will. It has, yeah, it has to. Um, <clears throat> and so I'm, so it was really funny because I'm reading this book and, and, I asked Burke to get my a couple of books to bring with me on the on the trip because I knew and I I've been wanting I've just been 
carrying my Bible around because I just, I just want to read it. I just yeah. want to, you know, just in case something comes my way and I, I want to look at stuff. Uh, but I was so thankful because I had my notebook, this one right here, and I just started like writing stuff down. And I reached down to get my other uh, Bible and I'm reading this one and then I look down and I try to reach for another one and I'm like, you didn't get my dakes, which is my the giant one. And he's like, you didn't ask for my, you didn't ask for your dakes. I'm like, but I need my dakes Bible. I was really sad, but I went without it. <laughs> for the weekend. And then when I got it, I was just like into it. So um, I want to go to 1 Timothy chapter five, uh, 4. And this scripture here, um, I just got this vision. Um, I'm a visual person. So and I know it's, but it's not as far as you think because it's got a <laughs> cyclopedic index in the back oh, that's oh, oh. humongous. So it's... Yeah, I was about to say, wouldn't you? I'm going to actually read it in Passion, David. Um, okay, wait. First Timothy chapter five. This is what we need to be doing. And this is Paul talking to Timothy and he's teaching them, you know, he's telling him what he needs to be doing. Um, and he tells them. Are you sure Timothy? First Timothy chapter oh, five. I'm sorry. First Timothy four. I'm like, there is no chapter five. Wait a minute. Four. I'm sorry. I'm looking at, okay. it's five right there, but it's, it's four. First Timothy four. four. Okay. First Timothy chapter four. I'm trying to get there. They're sticking. And let's start at verse 11. Okay. Can you read it out of the Passion? Oh, you have them. I have them. I have all the books that you need tonight. I'm going to be like tonight. buried behind Bibles. I know. I have so thing. many. I love them. All right. I love verse, all the Bibles in all the world. Start in verse 11? Yes. Okay. Instruct and teach the people all that I've taught you. And don't be intimidated by those who are older than you. Simply be the example they need to see by being faithful and true in all that you do. Speak the truth and live a life of purity and authentic love as you remain strong in your faith. So until I come, be diligent in devouring the word of God and be faithful in prayer and in teaching the believers. Okay, so let's stop there. I need okay. my Bible back because I'm, I'm reading this yeah. in, in the van and I just get this image in my head of literally be yeah. diligent in devouring the word of God. And I just got this image of me just like going to town, like just biting, taking <laughs> chunks, like just like devouring. Like how do you devour like food? You know, like ah, mm -hmm. you just become a crazed animal. Like, imagine like a cheeseburger. Like, yeah. Like just, you know, and I could see myself just biting in chunks and it was just going into my spirit and it was feeding me and it I was never full and I just wanted more it was just like a creating a, a constant hunger and I, I just want that like I was just like yes God like that's what I want to do I want yeah. to just devour your word I want it to just go down and just be a part of me just let it re reside in me and rest in me and it I just, I couldn't stop, I couldn't stop. Something awakened in me, <laughs> let's say that. Something yeah. awakened in me where it's just a new love of the word of God. I, I, yeah. I was in Bible quiz and I, I'm a PK and I knew to read the word and I knew like <clears throat> we would do sword drills and you know, I could find the Bible and I, I knew all the, <laughs> all the ones, uh, all of the books in the Bible in order. Yeah, Aubrey was telling me that she knows them too. She does. Um, so and proud. I was just, I was so proud. I was so proud to know, yeah. I know the, you know, all the, you know, cause other people didn't and I just did. And I was like, yeah, I know the Bible, but I didn't know the Bible. Like, right. I didn't know what I was reading. I didn't know it in my spirit. I just knew where the longest chapter was and what the shortest chapter was and things like that. And um, so we're driving and I just, I can't get enough of it. I'm just, I start devouring the word of God and I, I start researching and... Um, 
my heart was coming a lot. I remember I wrote it down in my notebook because I, something, like I said, awakened and I had to write, I'm like, Lord, my heart is coming alive by your word. The more I read, the more I'm like, whoa. And I, I, I have a bunch of Bibles. I was, I meant to bring them all in. Cause I just, you've seen yeah. all of my Bibles and I literally carry them around with me, at least three versions with me <laughs> everywhere I go. I take them <laughs> home because what if I need them at home? And then I bring them back to the office but I don't want to be without them, you know? And I do have a couple more Bibles at home, but most of them yeah. are here because I like to, if I look at one version, then I want to, I've already told you guys that. Um, <laughs> so my heart was coming alive in a new way that I've never experienced before. And it was just this awakening in me. And when you get, and, and here's the thing is, I don't know why I'm surprised by it because I've literally been praying Ephesians chapter one, let's look at there. Um, Ephesians chapter one, verses um, 17. And we've been praying this over our students uh, for about, gosh, four or five months, maybe six. Um, passion, yes. Oh, you want it? Um, we've been praying this, this prayer. Any chance I get, like at, at, like beginning, I, I put them in, put it in emails, and I've been praying it over my life and over my children. And uh, but this is what we've been praying. Start at verse seventeen, and I think go to like twenty or twenty-one. I'll tell you when to stop. I pray that the Father of glory, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, would impart to you the riches of the Spirit of wisdom and the Spirit of revelation to know Him through your deepening intimacy with Him. I pray that the light of God will illuminate the eyes of your imagination, flooding you with light until, you're ex until you experience the full revelation of the hope of his calling. Okay, that is stop there. Okay, so verse 17 tells us that he would impart the riches of the spirit of wisdom and revelation. We've been yeah. praying that. Lord, just give me the spirit of revelation. Just praying yeah. that. And then verse, was it 18? Mm -hmm. Open my eyes, illuminate my eyes. To his imagination. To his imagination. Yeah. To like, let me see your word and, and reveal, reveal more uh, of him. And so we've been praying this. So I don't, I'm, I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised. I'm like, why didn't I know this? And, but it's just, I've been praying that prayer of I want revelation. I want to know more. I, I'm, there's something stirring deep inside me that I can't explain that I just need to know you more. God, I, and, and the only way to know him more is to get into his word because that's his, that's who he is. This is, yeah. it just tells us who he is. It, it describes his character. It tells us who we are, it, you know, and so I just couldn't get enough and I just, just devouring it. And um, I want to go to Psalm chapter one. So we've been starting, um, so Mon so we, this was Friday, we went out of town. And all weekend, I'm just like literally carrying that Bible around. And I'm, I, it's in my purse and I, I'll sleep, I take it to bed with me, I, I put it, <laughs> just, I, don't, I don't wanna be without it. I, I know it sounds weird, but what if, what if he wakes me up in the middle of the night and I need to read, I need to read. I'm just ready, I'm just ready for whatever. Yeah. I wanna just read it, the last thing I read. I want it to be the first thing I look at. I want it to be near. Yeah. You know, and um, so starting Monday, I was carrying it, and the, I just, Lord, I want to, I want to train my children. You know, we we talked about that. Um, we need to train our children, and it just again something clicked inside of me, like, oh, this is what we need to be doing. <laughs> I, I, you know, yeah, we think we're doing it right, and then we're not. I don't know. Anyway, so I hand my Bible over to Micah. I take Matthew and Micah to school every morning. And I hand it over to Micah and I said, okay, read chapter one. And he's like, all right. So he starts reading it and we just kind of go through it. And I'm like, okay, so which part do you like best? What's mm -hmm. your favorite verse? Why is that your favorite verse? Mm -hmm. We just started like going and devouring. We've been doing it every, every day this week and it's been yeah. so much fun. It, it, they, he's, Micah yesterday was like, um, today is the third day. So are we gonna look at Psalm three? I'm like, yes, we're gonna do <laughs> Psalm three. And today we did Psalm four. And we're just kind of, I'm getting it in them early on. So that way, you know, it seems like such a 
like so simple. I don't know, yeah. but I don't. Uh, anyway, so it's coming alive. I can't get enough. Read Psalm one, um, the first three verses. What delight comes to those who follow God's ways? They won't walk in step with the wicked, nor share the sinner's way, nor be found sitting in the scorner's seat. Their pleasure and passion is remaining true to the word of I am, meditating day and night in his true revelation of light. They will be standing firm like a flourishing tree planted by God's design, deeply rooted by the brooks of bliss, bearing fruit in every season of their lives, they are never dry, never fainting, ever blessed, and ever prosperous. Yes. <clears throat> Delight in the law of the Lord. Meditate on it day and night. Just get it in you, and you're going to be like a tree that yeah. is by a brook that is just constantly drinking in and able to produce fruit and, and just pour out. Like, so you're just yeah. constantly feeding yourself and being able to pour it out and give whatever the Lord has for you that day. And I'm telling you, it is, it is rocked my world this week. Um, I'm, not, I'm not kidding, every single day this week, the Lord has just dropped scripture that I um, either have known or like will be reminded. I'm like, oh, I need to go back and I need to read that again. And he's, he sent me scripture for friends um, and I'm able to encourage someone else. He sent me... Uh, I'm just like, I'm just so in it that I'm just, I can't get enough of it. I have to constantly um, read it. Yeah, just <laughs> in it. And and he's showing up in, yeah. I don't know, why am I surprised? But he's showing up. And oh, I'm telling you all this because I want you to get excited about Jesus yeah. and the word because he is the word and he is living and breathing and alive and it's not just a book of history it's not just mm -hmm. you know poems or whatever it's life it it it's refreshing it's food to your soul it's water it's it's just it's so good it's so good and just, yeah and i mean and just because you've read it once maybe even all the way through or you've read that portion before or whatever yeah it can be completely different the next time it you is. read it because you may be in a different place in life and it speaks to you in a completely different way yeah. where you have a new understanding of that scripture where you thought it meant just this one thing, but now it speaks to you on a whole nother level. Yes. And guides you like where you need to be in that yeah. moment. And that's one thing that I love about it. I know, I mean, I've read it all, I don't know how many times before. Yeah. But... Every time I read it, it's like, oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't, oh, that, it, yeah, this applies here too. Yeah. Like, it's not, you know, just for that one time in my life or that one thought. Yeah. There's always something that he is, he's always speaking. Mm -hmm. We just got to open our ears to hear yeah. what he's saying um, and to... Um, Allow your hearts to be receptive to it. Yeah. Just, you know, I've told him, Yes, I have said, okay, Lord, I want to be used by you. I want to know you more. I've said, yeah. I've opened my heart to you. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, so I have to tell you this. Okay. It's kind of funny. One, um, I'm reminded because I've all day I've been singing this song because I was reminded of it, and now I'm, it's popped back into my spirit. So. Is it the one from Zambia? No. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I just say that it was so stinking awesome to see, um, to see what God was doing in I Zambia. It was, so fun. it was amazing. I can't wait to go. I know. Because I'm going. I know. I am going. I'm I want to be. A, I want to go dance with them. Yeah, like I'm not missing the next trip. Like no. I don't care. Oh what my gosh! Happens. Like so I'm good. going the next time. I was so sad, wasn't I? I was a hot mess. She was I was like heart, yeah. spiritually heartbroken. Yeah. <laughs> like not get it was to tough. <laughs> it was rough. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so um, I think about a year ago, I woke up to this song. It's not a Christian song, but if you were here yeah, if you listen with to Luke, Luke, Luke Holter, you know, God yep. speaks to us in however he speaks to us. He'll speak to me in movies, dreams, Disney, um, and song. And I w woke up to the song by Madonna, 
Um, Open your heart to me, yeah. darling. I hold the lock, or you hold the lock, I hold the key, I or something hold, like. Yeah, the key. Open your heart to me, yeah. and it. So, and I was like, I could not get that song out of my head. So I was like, okay, Lord. I literally woke up to that song, and so I'm like, all right. And I found it, got my guitar, and I'm like, I just got to get this out, and I'm like singing it. Yeah, Lord, what are you? I don't know what this means. Like, I'm just like, and I just was like, Lord, I'm opening my heart to you. Yeah. It was like He wanted me to open, open your heart to me. Let me, let me unlock all, all the secrets that I have for you. Um, Proverbs 25, two. David read it this morning. If you were tuning in, it's it's the glory of God to conceal a matter, but is the glory of kings to search out a matter. And it's, Mm -hmm. he hides things so that we can go in and find it. And so we can go in and um, just, um, how desperate are you? (laughs) I did this illustrated sermon one time with the students a couple, like a year ago or some, and I hid these golden rocks in our sand pit. Uh, <laughs> there's probably still a few there, but I told them if they found it, that they would bring it back to me and they could get a candy or a prize out of our treasure box. Now, these are teenagers and they love candy and prizes. It was awesome. So, <laughs> and I said, how that, de- like, I told them later, I didn't tell them in that moment, but it was a demonstr- it was an illustrated sermon. Yeah. They were like, just, digging like crazy. I mean, they got dirty. It was just, but they wanted the prize. They want, they were searching and I'm like, oh, this is just working out so beautifully, Lord. Thank you for this. <laughs> and there's still some rocks back there if you want to go search. Um, but <laughs> how desperate are you? I, I, I've decided I'm desperate enough that I'm going to keep going into the Bible and I'm gonna keep searching out. Lord, what is, you're showing me this. Why is this word, why is this phrase, why is this song in my head? I'm gonna search your word, I'm gonna search it out. I'm, I want to know. I am so desperate to know more of you that I'm just gonna go for it. I don't care what cost, I don't care how late I'm up or how early you wake me or in the middle of the night, I don't care. I'm going to get in there and I'm gonna go after it. I'm gonna go after you because I I'm I'm wanna go and search. I'm not yeah. I'm not gonna be like, oh well, if you're not gonna show it to me out in plain, not, I forget it. You know, that sometimes we get that way. Like, you know, where are you, God? And he's yeah. like, come find me. Right. Come, come look. You know, how desperate are you? And so that song was popped into my head, and I've been singing it all day. And I, again, I think he's just telling us, open your heart. I'll, I'll reveal so many things to you. If you'll just yeah. search search me. Can I have my Bible back? I'm yes. sorry, I need it. No, you're fine. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, I'm like, it's a new love. Yes. It's like, it's like a, fir- it's like, it's like, it's like when you fall in love for the first time and you're just like, I just want to be around you all the time. I just, well, you know, like, what are you doing? You know, like when you're on the phone, Burke and I, um, when we first started dating, uh, the very first, like the next day, we didn't see each other and we were on the phone. We were on the phone for like two, three hours, just like, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. You know, okay. And it, it, we couldn't yeah. do that. We had to spend every other day after that together. We just couldn't be on the phone. It was just stupid. We're like, no, I have to see your, you have to see your face. You yeah, know? I didn't have FaceTime back then. I know. No, it was like a cord, like a hand, like a <laughs> corded telephone thingy. <sighs> I'm showing my age. Yeah, I was about to say, you're really telling how old you are here. Do you remember that? Do you? On the party line, we had switchboards. No, no, it wasn't a switchboard. <laughs> Do you remember that one time that we were on the phone? Like the only time that we've ever been separate from each other? Do you remember? He doesn't remember. Do you remember? He totally doesn't remember. That's okay. I love you anyway. But that's how I feel right now. Like I just can't get enough. I just, because John says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. This he, the words that he's speaking are alive yeah. and true and, and they have come alive to me and I've fallen in love with him all over again. And it's just so funny. I feel like a schoolgirl. I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and um, so, <laughs> so I started um, reading. Here's your homework for today, for this week. 
um, I started reading Psalm chapter 119. It's the biggest chapter in the Bible. It's, yeah. it's big. It's, it's just awesome. I started reading it on Friday and didn't finish it until Saturday. I just was like, oh my God, it's so good. And, and I stayed up kind of late and I'm, I'm, cause I'm being wrecked by him. Psalm 119 is all about the word of God. And there are so many descriptions of the word of God. And um, a few of them, of course, I had to go and research and do some stuff on that. Uh, but there are several Hebrew words, synonyms that refer, that mean the same as the word of God. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of go through these quickly. And you'll see them while you're reading, while you're reading through Psalm 119 you'll see his word and, and where you can find it, like when it pops out, because he calls it different. They're different mm -hmm. words. Um, one of them is God's law, uh, because it is enact, enacted by him as our sovereign. Um, another word, his way. It lays a course for our life. Um, his testimonies, his commandments, his precepts, which I didn't know what a precept was. Do you know what a precept? I'm, it's all up in there, and I'm like, okay, Lord, I, I pray your perception. It's actually the way this person described it is like it's a prescription, like a, like they're prescribed to us. Mm. Like you should read this, like if when you need it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Okay, I did not know that. Anybody I was thinking else? That was like a perception precept it's like a like when you need it David's this is what I know David what, David what is it David okay a, co a commander or say it again it's like a doctor's <laughs> a commander principle intended as this a general general rule or action especially especially as a general rule of action of action uh-huh an order issued. So it's kind of so like a prescription. Like you need the to doctor's take this. Ordered like this. You need to kind of like. It's like the doctor ordered. Yeah. It's, it's what the doctor ordered. Another word to describe the word of God is his truth. Mm -hmm. God is not a man. He does not lie. Um, his word, it is the declaration of his will in Jesus Christ. Um, his judgments, his righteousness, his statutes, his faithfulness. Uh, this is all throughout, when, whenever you read through, and I'm just gonna kind of go through Psalm 119, but you don't have to follow me because it's, I'm gonna go fast and I'm just gonna read it. I literally, I don't know if you can see, <laughs> he's getting ready. He's if you can see my Bible, I don't know if you can see the pink on there. Can you like, you don't have to zoom in, but can you go to this camera? This one? Are you on that it's one? It's already on that. Can y'all see? You can't see my... It's okay. You don't have to zoom in. It's all right. You can see it a little bit if you hold it still. Anyway, I, what I did was I got my pretty magenta pen and I just went through. Here we go. We're going to zoom in on it. And I just went through and I highlighted all the things all that the jumped points. out at me. Like just like wrecked. I'm like, oh my God, Lord, that's so good. See how long this book, this chapter is? It's like one, two, three, four, five, six... Like eight pages long. No, 10 pages long. How long is well, this? Well, that's also the passion. The passion is, is wordy. It's probably a little bit wordy. <laughs> so it's probably a little longer. And it's amazing. Oh, it's not really good. But yeah. It's all right. You can see it. Anyway, go through Psalm 119. Huh? It, I'm good. Are you still, is it still zoomed in on me? Oh Please. my gosh, David. <laughs> I hate you so much right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even like <laughs> stop it okay he's got it on boom we're good I hate you so much I just want to like throw something at you right now fix it did you fix it back okay he fixed it back thanks David thanks so much we should make that our cover photo for this oh my video. god I will I will hurt whoever does he, that he like ducked out of the picture <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh man. Now back to the word of God. You guys. Jeez Louise. If y'all only knew how much she really does hate that. <laughs> That's 
so funny. Okay. <sighs> Hold on. <laughs> I gotta breathe. Go to Amy for a minute. <laughs> Amy, um, you should say something right now. So, just the page that I'm on in 119 says um, that it just like keeps repeating this is that it's your testimonies. Talking about like the, his word is his testimonies to us. Yes. Throughout his word. And so I, I love that because I think that's what, um, like reading the stories that he's given us throughout his word of the miracles and of um, his redeeming love and all of the, the things, all of them. All of them. It, I mean, he makes it relatable through his testimonies. Yes. So yes. I, I love that. You know, he gives us those to relate to us here on earth in the moments that we're in, whatever it may be, whatever hardship, whatever right. struggle like we're dealing with. Um, he wants to connect with us and he uses his word to do that yes. by his testimonies. We lost like four viewers thanks to that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It did go Such down. A good we're night down tonight. To like, we're down. So like, glad that you're here, you guys. We love you guys. Thanks for hanging with us tonight. We lost some viewers. I don't know what happened. Anyway. Uh, uh, we'll just blame it on David. It's right. It's David's fault. Anyway, <laughs> you should read through Psalm 119 and go in and but you didn't highlight read it. it. Right? You said you were I do was, fast. but I feel like the moments passed, and okay. so you should totally read it. It's so good. <laughs> it will wreck you completely and utterly. Um, Isaiah 40, verse 8 says, The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of the Lord stands forever. Oh, yeah. No I matter what happens. I don't have to read it then. Um, you know, no matter what happens, spot. the Lord's word stands. It's true, it's, it will never fade. Um, It will never fail. Joshua 21, 45, David read it this morning. Not a word fails. Um, he made promises to the people of Israel and they all came to pass. It says at the end of that chapter, um, all came to pass. Not a word failed. <clears throat> the Lord saw it through. Every promise that he made, everything that he spoke, he followed through with it. And it all came to pass. That's, that's, that's what I'm in love with right now. Yeah. That's what's wrecking me. That's what's just, you know, I'm consumed by him and I'm consumed by his word. Um, I, just, I do want to pray over you, Psalm 119, verses 33 through 40. <clears throat> this is a prayer um, that the psalmist writes and it's so good. And I've, I highlighted the entire section. Um, the whole Psalm 119 is an acrostic poem. He uses the alphabet and does eight, eight lines and uses the first letter of the alphabet to go through. But I just want to pray this over you tonight uh, before we sign off. <laughs> They're all saying they are here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm glad. We are here. We are I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I want to pray this over you yes. and, uh, and, and pray it every day because he wants to reveal things to you. He wants uh, just the same thing we did with Ephesians chapter one, how we just pray, learn to pray scripture over yourself. Um, it yeah. will change your life. It will, it will change you completely and utterly. Um, so I'm going to read these and just pray them over you. Lord, give us revelation about the meaning of your ways so that we can enjoy the reward of following them fully. Give us an understanding heart so that we can passionately know and obey your truth. Guide us into the paths that please you, for we take delight in all that you say. Cause our hearts to bow before your words of wisdom and not to the wealth of this world. Help us turn our eyes away from illusions so that we pursue only that which is true. Drench our soul with life as we walk in your paths. Reassure us of your promises for we are your beloved, your servants who bow before you. Defend us from the criticism we might face or we face for keeping your beautiful words. See how, I, see how we long for cravings for more of your, your ways. 
Let your righteousness revive our spirits. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, it's good. You guys definitely need to get in there. It will wreck you and he will, he will show up every, yeah. I mean, like every step. I mean, he gave me, he gave me a dream last night and I'm, I'm over here reading through this and he's showing me, you know, more scripture of like, oh my gosh, like he's just so good. So, um, the word of the Lord, fall in love with it. If you, if you've, if you're in a place where you just don't know where to start, start in Psalm 119. Start in Ephesians. Um, just go there yeah. and let him speak to you. Let Open your heart to him. He wants to reveal, he, but you've got to go search it out. You have to do your part. He's not going to just, okay. here, because you're not ready. You've got to build yourself up to that place where he's able to speak life and speak uh, healing and, and bless your finances. It's Joshua 1.8 says, you will be successful in everything that you do. You, he will make you prosperous. Yeah. If you get this in your, in your spirit, get it in your, love it. Like, just fall in love with him again. I am totally wrecked by him. He's so good. So, yeah, um, yeah thanks for tuning in tonight. We're so glad that you're here. Um, you wanna pray us out? Sure. Do you have any lasting words? Um, I don't know that I have any more words. I just, I don't know. I mean, just bury it in your heart. Like, get his word in your heart. Oh, yeah. You know, he tells us to hide his word in our heart. And, um, I don't know. It's just exciting to see. I mean, even you as an adult have, like, a new passion for something that I know you've read and oh, yeah. hid in your heart before. And it's inspiring, I mean, to see that. And um, and I would love for everybody to have that. Yeah. You know? I mean, could you imagine if all of us were, like, literally sleeping with our Bibles, like, <laughs> every night? Like, <laughs> It's sort of ridiculous. <laughs> I just I mean, love it. I just want to be close to him. But to have that, like, love for the Word that yeah. passionately, I mean, it would, it would be, like, crazy up in here every every single Sunday. Yeah. But, but you've got to have like a true deep love for it. Yeah. To actually get the revelation of what he's trying to tell you right. in here. Right. It's not going to jump off of the page at you if you're not looking. Yeah. You've got to be looking. Also don't let even if you don't even if you don't feel like it or yeah. you're tired that day. Oh yeah. Force yourself. Discipline yourself. In do the it word, anyway. do it anyway, because you. I promise you, you will feel, you will walk away going. I feel so refreshed. Yeah. I feel so like thank you, Lord. Like just getting in your getting in, reading His word. It just just comes to life. It's just like a, it's a refreshing glass of water. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and there's nothing more that Satan would love to do than to deter us from reading. It. Oh yeah, absolutely. So of course he's gonna love to like, you know, jump on those moments of going. Well, you can read it tomorrow. Yeah. You know, and then tomorrow comes and you're like, you're running behind or whatever. And yeah. then, oh, I oh, can yeah. read it later. It's... You know, I mean, you sometimes have to force yourself to stop and sit down and take yeah. the time to do it. And um, I know I do. Our lives are crazy. But, I mean, even if it's like me, my time to like get in the Word is, because I, I don't necessarily flow well with like a Bible reading plan personally. Yeah. I've tried them, but I mean, I think you've touched on this before. It's like just trying to get that little check mark sometimes yes. of like, yeah. you know. That's what I thought Bible, I, that's what I thought reading your Bible every day meant. Yeah. I have to, I have to read, you know, and check the box. Yeah. And now I'm like, so I want to that. get in there. So <laughs> I want to know that. what he's saying. So, I mean, I've, I really don't do any of the plans anymore just because I feel like it's more of a have to thing than a I want to thing. Yeah. Even though I may have wanted to look up something like about a scenario or right. about God's love or about whatever. Like I may have sought out that topic, that topical study, right. but by the time it's like getting ready to be done, I'm like, yeah, this is just more of a, yeah, I got to do my time kind of mm -hmm. thing. And it wasn't as enjoyable as I yeah. originally thought it would be or um, as deep as I thought it would be. And so I just couldn't get into it. So I've gotten aware, though, on my drive to work, I have the Version app on my phone. And that's like my time that I 
Yeah. I, I mean, one of my times, I listen every day. I mean, I'm listening to my Bible mm -hmm. a lot of the time. And I'll go back and I'll be like, oh, wait, I want to hear that again. And I'll yeah. go back and like rewind it. Yeah. Basically, the 30 <laughs> second button, like yeah. jump back or whatever, 15 seconds, whatever it is. And replay it because I, I want to make sure I'm hearing it and I want to make sure that I'm, you know, and then I can go back later and pull that scripture and go back and highlight it when I actually have yeah. like my Bible or and or on the app itself. Um, so you know it's it, it's not always necessarily this physical way of reading it, but you could, there's other yeah. ways to do it if when you're busy. Yeah. You know, and I mean putting in headphones at work and just letting it go. How desperate are you? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I that's, know a lot honestly, of nights. Honestly, that's where it comes down to. There is a lot of nights in our household, in our room, the Bible's playing and we're both falling asleep. And, yeah. Or there's a preacher preaching and speaking, you know, on whatever. And it's usually coming from David's phone and it's like in between us in the bed and he's right. like snoring. Yeah two seconds into it and then I'm laying there listening to it because I can't go to sleep. Yeah. I have a hard time falling asleep. So I'm like sitting there listening to his, you know, David Oyedepo or Jonathan Shuttlesworth or whoever we're listening to at the yeah. moment. And um, there's lots of ways to get the word in you, but you've got to be willing yeah. to take the time to do it, whether it's For sure. audio, visual, hands on writing it. I know I do that when I'm studying for these broadcasts. Mm -hmm. I like taking the scriptures that I feel like God is speaking to me through and I like writing them down. It helps it get in yeah. me if I handwrite it, you know, and um, it's not always legible, but <laughs> I like handwriting it. And so, um, you know, I see like, Hilda, you're talking about your Bible journaling. I oh, mean, yeah. that's another way that I really enjoy you know, reading through and finding the scripture that speaks yeah. to me. And I love that too. So there's lots of ways to do it, you guys. Don't don't think it has to be something like this, you know. And it might feel like a chore in the beginning to force yourself to do it when you don't have the time or you don't feel like doing it. But by the time you get in that routine of it mm -hmm. and you really re start getting the revelation of whatever portion of scripture you're reading is, it'll completely change your oh, view yeah. on it. Oh, yeah. You've just got to make yourself get in that habit. It's a good habit. It's not a bad habit. You know, get yourself in the habit mm -hmm. of doing that. It's the only way you're going to ever get to that level of and that hunger of wanting it. Mm -hmm. You've got to yeah. understand what you're missing to want it. You know, like we were talking about this the other day. Absence makes the heart grow oh, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, it's the same way with God's word. I mean... You know, if, or it's not always the same way with God's word. I mean, it's sometimes the reverse. If you get out of the habit of it, you're not going to realize what you're missing. Yeah. But once you've had a real taste of it, a real taste of it. Oh, yeah. Real revelation, life-changing revelation of it. You'll start realizing when you're not reading it and you'll start feeling that void. You'll feel it and you'll go, oh, my God, I need to get, I need to get back in the word. Mm -hmm. Like I'm slacking or yeah. whatever. And but you, it, it's again, it's going to be another step of, of like pushing yourself back into it. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's not always the easiest thing up front. Yeah. But once you start developing that want, it just grows. It'll continue to grow. Mm -hmm. You've got to stick with it. Got to do it. Yeah. It's, it's for your own good. All right, y'all. We love you guys. I'm going to pray over y'all and then we'll be getting a bone out of here. So, Lord, we just love you. We thank you for our time together tonight and hope that, Lord, that people are getting a real revelation of what it is you're trying to say to them through your word, God, that they dive in at a whole new level, Lord, head first. Just let them get into it and understand that that is there for the taking, that your word is all they need, Lord. It has all instructions and all things, God, and and it's living and breathing and ever-changing and with all the times that we're going through. Lord, that you have wrote these things down so that we have it to refer back to in, in our moments of weakness or feeling like failure or unloved, whatever those scenarios are, God, that you have spoke life to us through your word over and over and over again. And God, we just ask that let the people receive this, God, who, those that are watching now or even on the replay later, God, that you are going to just give them a completely new desire burning in their heart for more of your word. Let it continue to burn, Lord. 
We ask these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Before we completely log off tonight, we want to give you guys the opportunity to partner with us. We have got some super exciting stuff coming up with Worldwide Impact that we want you guys to be partners with us on. Um, Light the Night's coming up in July 27th 27. and 28th, two-day mm -hmm. event. Um, and so much more. I don't, we're not <laughs> sure on all the details yet, but so much more. So um, once those things, we have those finalized, we will definitely be sharing those with you guys. But know that they are huge and we are excited. And I know one of the missions projects that <clears throat> um, Pastor David mentioned this morning was that we are taking on a project in Zambia to help Pastor Chuma's church, so where he just was um, ministering. They have no church walls mm -hmm. on their building. They have a roof, but then they just have tarps for walls held down by rocks on the exterior. So we want to help them get walls on their church. Um, they are precious, precious people over there. And um, they've got, I think, nine locations and 300 at the main mm -hmm. location that in attendance every Sunday. So, um, you know, they really need some walls, y'all. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not a lot to ask for when we look around at what we have here in the state. Right. I mean, just walls. Yeah. They just need walls. So, um, you know, please partner with us and know that we are giving wholeheartedly to that. Um, we have a new passion for Zambia. And Love. <laughs> the people there, they were so welcoming to my husband and my father-in-law. And, um, I mean, I don't know that I could have wish them a better reception like when they got there yeah you know i mean all of the church leaders waiting for them at the airport with flowers yeah and, so sweet i mean wouldn't let them carry their luggage or their bible to the pulpit i mean like literally yeah. carried their bible up and put it on the pulpit for them yeah. i mean that is just they were completely honored to have them there and we want to make sure and show them that we mm. love them as well yeah so um we love you guys and we hope that you receive this tonight and that you get this in your heart and get this in your spirit yeah thanks for joining us yeah we love see you, you next, next week we'll be back next thursday 9 p.m every thursday we may not always create an event <laughs> just make sure and log on at nine o'clock make sure you're set to get the notification that when we go live it notifies you so all right we're out we love you guys good night <laughs>